absolute balance. So today I'm going to be showing you through uh, a series of hand movements that we call the novel hand, wrist and forearm movements. So these movements are generally used when we're rehabilitating from an injury including tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. They're really super helpful in retraining our range of motion through the forearm and our pain-free range of motion as well as building up strength in the end ranges. So quite often after an injury, uh, particularly with the forearm, we then have limitations in our pain-free range of motion. Um, we have um, ongoing lingering pain that may hang around around the elbow, either on the lateral side here um, or the medial side. And we quite often have some associated dysfunction with that. So these hand movements, they're really helpful to use as a little bit of a warm up uh, prior to completing the rest of your exercises and they're also useful to use throughout the day or throughout the week um, during work or prior to completing any other exercises um, it forces you into the very end range of motion where we don't normally move the hand so hence the, the novel movement so it's a movement we wouldn't normally do but by doing that it allows the brain and the body to reprogram our range of motion and build strength in those ranges so I'll um, show you through those ones today. We're gonna to start just with three of those ones today. And then next time I do a video, we'll go through the rest. So the very first one, if I turn sideways here, is so we're having the arm out straight, nice straight elbow. And then we're going to go into as much extension of the wrist as possible with the fingers extended. I like to hold my elbow here to make sure we keep it nice and straight. And then from that position, you're going to curl the fingers and then extend. So your hand's going to want to drop down. You want to keep it pulled back as much as you possibly can. Bend and then extend, bend, extend. And you repeat that between five and 10 times. The next one is the same position, so elbow extended, pulling into as much flexion as possible and then crunching into a fist and then extending there. And you want to keep the hand curled in as much as possible. So your hand is going to want to lift when you bend the fingers in. So we want to try and keep it flexed as much as possible. Extend and then scrunch, extend, scrunch. And you should feel that working all through these little forearm flexes here. So it really gets into that common flexor origin and works it really hard, okay? The next one from there is palm up. We're going to do a similar movement there. We're going to come into as much flexion as possible in that position, crunching the fingers in and then extending out. The first thing that's going to happen with this one is that your elbow is going to want to bend. So we want to keep that as straight as possible, really flex in and then crunch the fingers, extend out and just making sure that we don't flatten the hand. So keeping the fingers curled in, keeping the wrist curled in Extend and then scrunch, extend and scrunch. So there are three movements that you're going to practice to start with, okay? As I said, those exercises are really great for that common extensor origin, common flexor origin, really useful after suffering an injury. So you're gonna try and work through those as best as you can. As I said, around about 10 repetitions for each. You might feel as though those muscles are going to really cramp up after you get to about five reps. So just be mindful of that and work your way through it. Thank you.